So the first thing I'm going to take is this Glam Glow Super Serum, which is new, and this is supposed to help clarify your pores, plump flat, fine lines, and also help exfoliate dry skin. So I'm just going to take that, and it smells pretty good. I'm going to take that, and not a strong smell though. I'm going to take that all over my face. For a foundation, I'm going to take the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation, and I'm also going to mix this Japanese. Um, it's a liquid highlighter, and this is a Sigma F88 brush. I will have everything listed in the description box below if I don't know the exact name of a product, or like the, this Japanese one. I believe it's called like Liquid Light or something like that. But everything will be listed and linked in the description box below, so don't forget to check that out because I always try to link everything. So I basically just mixed both products on my brush and then applied it to my face. And right about now is when I realized that I completely forgot to use primer. And then I'm going to take Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I'm going to kind of just warm up my face a little bit. I think this is in the shade Deep. I think. And I'm just going to put it around the perimeter of my face and I'm going to blend it with the same foundation brush I use because it really helps kind of blend it out a lot easier and also a lot more natural because there's still a little bit of foundation left over on the brush so it's a lot easier that way. And if you are lucky enough not to have a double chin then you don't have to apply it to your jawline <laughs> and then I'm gonna take the same concealer again and I'm going to use it to conceal and also highlight the basic areas of my face which is under my eyes my forehead a little bit on the bridge of my nose and then around my mouth and chin area I know you guys have probably seen this a million times me do it a million times but for some reason, I really like watching people apply their concealer and then blend it out. I don't know, I just, when I watch videos, I really like that part, so I just decided to leave it in. And also, I'm using Sigma's Beauty Sponge, the 3D HD Beauty Blender, to our Beauty Sponge to blend that out. I don't know, they did switch their, the texture of their new sponge. I, I don't know if they changed it again but I didn't like the second version that they came out with it's, it's a whole different texture so I don't know if you order it now like if you will like that texture or not but I liked the old ones better and then to set everything under my eyes I'm not really gonna set the rest of my face I'm just gonna set under my eyes and I'm using the Huda Beauty powder and I believe I'm in the color pound cake and I don't bake I basically I apply a generous amount but then just press it into my skin and let it do it thing and do its thing and then blend it out I don't let it sit and bake because my eyes tend to be a little bit dry under there next I'm going to take the Huda Beauty melt um, liquid eyeshadows the mount what is it matte and metal shadows I've seen a lot of reviews on these these are the new colors that she just came out with I'm applying the orange one all over as a base and also kind of as my transition shade a little bit as well I've seen a lot of reviews on these that people don't like them I personally really like them especially the matte I think the matte ones I really like because they just blend out so so beautifully like I don't normally like liquid shadows and as I say I'm blending um they blend out beautifully this is not blending out really good because I left it too long because I couldn't find my brush so I guess don't if you blend them out right after you apply it they just they work really well it's the liquid the the metallic part that I really I think don't I'm not a huge fan of but the matte the liquid matte ones I really I really do honestly like them so I just applied that all over and blended it out and then I took the Anastasia Artist Palette and I'm taking the yellow from that palette. And I'm going to apply that just above my crease to kind of just blend out a little bit more of that orange color. And just kind of give it like a background color. I should have did this before I applied the orange, but yeah, I did it. And then I'm going to use the metallic side of the Huda Beauty eyeshadows. Now these I really don't like as much because 
if you pack them on like if you layer it to give like a foil look they do kind of crease and crumble a little bit so that's the only thing I really don't like about it and then I took the Anastasia artist palette again with the orange on top just because I wanted it to be a little bit more of an orange color so I applied that shadow over so I kind of used the metallic eyeshadow as a base and then applied the orange shadow over it and then I used another just to be extra <laughs> another loose eyeshadow is kind of a little bit more shimmery and it's by Smolder Cosmetics and I just applied that over it just to give it a little bit more of a shimmer look. Then next I applied the Huda Beauty. These are the new, a new style in collaboration with, I'm not sure who she is but they kind of have like black and brown in them so that's why I used it. And then I took a Dose of Colors eyeliner pencil which is the brown one. I'm not sure, again everything will be listed in the description box as far as names and links go. So I applied that to my waterline. It's a brown color and then I just blended a little bit of the matte orange color that I used in the beginning. I blended that on my lower lash line. And then I used this Milani Most Wanted Mascara. I really, I, this is like the, I don't know, fifth or sixth time I used it. I really like this one. I like the brush and I actually like the formula too. So I applied that to my lower lash line and then next for bronzer I just got these new wet and wild ones and I'm struggling to open it could not open it now if I'm not mistaken I believe this is the lightest shade that they have in their 2019 collection because that's what it said on the thing that I got um it did work good but I really had to go in a lot with a lot of layers for it to really show up and I think if I went in with another color one of the other darker colors that they had it just that co those colors wouldn't work for me because they it might look a little muddy so this was really the only color that kind of would work for me and I I liked it I just had to go in a lot with it like I couldn't just it wasn't very pigmented on me I guess it wasn't I just had to layer it a lot And then I went ahead and contoured my nose and I'm using a Joseph Colors brush to do this like always and I used the Tarte, I believe it's called Clay Play Palette, I cannot talk today. I think it's called the Tarte Clay Play Palette. I will look it up for you guys and link it in the description box below. And then I um, kind of cleaned up with the baking powder that I used under my eyes, I cleaned up under my bronzer just to give it kind of like a, a clean cut look and then for blush again I went in with my favorite palette which is from Benefit Cosmetics and the one I use is called Coralista they do sell it individually After I did my cheeks, I removed that setting powder and just kind of wiped it off with a clean brush. And then I went ahead and used the primer that I was going to use in the beginning that I didn't use. It's from Wet n Wild. Also, it's a cucumber one. They have a rose one and a coconut one. This one smells so good and it actually works good. It's a three-in-one. It's a setting spray and um, refreshing mist and a primer. And then I'm gonna try this new highlighter. This video isn't sponsored by the way. I'm trying this new highlighter that Wet n Wild just came out with, or I think it's a new color. I think they have more of them. This is my first time trying it out and I really liked it. Um, the, the color will be listed in the description box below. But I really liked it. I applied it with my beauty sponge and it was super pigmented in a really pretty color. And lastly for lips, I used Lime Crimes Pumpkin Lipstick. I'm not sure if this is limited edition. I just wanted something orange. This turned out to be a little bit too much of a red orange, I think. It's still a pretty color, but um, yeah, I just ended up going with it just because that's the one I picked originally. So 